All right, you guys, surface area of cones. This one is real similar to surface area of perimeters. Remember, the lateral area is one-half PL, the perimeter. Well, the perimeter of a cone is a, is a circle, so it's a circumference. So it's one-half your circumference formula still times your slant height. Okay, so our question is... Um, how can we find the surface area of cones and other solids? I want to show you a, a, a real quick uh, P triples lesson. So um, I, I've been saying in my in my um, uh, in my lessons to to look at the P triples. So here I am at. If you go to MrMathBlog.com, it'll it'll look like uh, this right here. Went back to home right there if it'll take me. So go over here to the geometry one right here and just spend about, you know, the first three minutes on there and just looking at P triples. And it's right here. It says Pythagorean triple. So if you click that, you guys, you'll see some uh, advantages to P triples. Okay, so they really help and you're going to see them pop up a lot. So surface area of cone. So the lateral area of a right cone is just like um, uh, the is just like the, the pyramid, which is one half PL, but um, uh, the P is circumference, and circumference is two pi r, so one half of two is just pi r. Okay, so instead of two pi r, it's, it's pi r. Can you see this is half the circumference? Okay, so it's just pi r l, and then the whole surface area is uh, the base, which is pi r squared plus the lateral area pi r l. All right, let's uh, let's try some, you guys. Okay. So we need to find uh, this. So we've got to use a P-triple right there. You'll see them a lot in this lesson. So 6, 8, 10 uh, P-triple right there. So the slant height is 10. All right, so then the lateral area is pi r l. So we just plug in 6 and 10 right there, and we get 60, 60 pi centimeters squared, okay? And then for the total surface area, we add on pi r squared. So 36 pi added to 60 pi, 96 pi centimeters squared, all right? Let's try this one. Okay, this is another P-triple right here. We need this radius. So R squared plus 24 squared equals 25 squared. This is a 7, 24, 25 P-triple. Okay, so the R is 7, okay? If you just spend two and a half, three minutes on that P-triple lesson, you'll see a bunch of P-triples that pop up a bunch. So plug it in, we get 175 pi centimeters squared. Okay, and then uh, surface area, the whole surface area, we add that circle. So we go ahead and we get 224 pi centimeters squared. Okay, I don't know if we got a decimal on that. All right, so these come from application problems. The, test, the, the textbook will ask you things like how much paper you need to make a, um, uh, like a snow cone. Uh, that would be a lateral area, okay, to make the cone. I didn't put space in there. Or how much total amount of paper, if you're going to do the top also, that would be, if you see total, that's all surface area. All right, so find the area of the composite figure. Okay, so on this, you guys, I see the lateral area of a cone plus the lateral area of a cylinder, and it looks like we're going to include this circle down here, okay? So what we need to do is get... Um, um, this height right here so we can use the Pythagorean theorem to get um, uh, this slant height right here. So we're going to get another P-triple that I didn't know before this lesson. All right, so the height right there is uh, 45 because the whole height is 90. So we took off this 45. So this has to be 45 right here to get 45, 45, and 90 right there. Okay, so let's go ahead and use Pythagorean theorem. I don't know this P-triple right here, okay? Um, so 45 squared plus uh, 28 squared equals this slant height squared, L squared, okay? So when we square root that, we get 53. I did not know that was a P-triple. So 28, 45, 53 is another P-triple. Anyways, the lateral area of a cone, pi R L. So when we get that, we get 1,484 pi centimeters squared. All right, the lateral area of the cylinder is 2 pi r h, so when we do that, we get 2,520 pi centimeters squared. And finally, the circle downstairs is pi r squared, so we get uh, 784 pi. So the total surface area, we're going to add those numbers together, and we get 4,788 pi centimeters squared. All right, if you guys are, and that's the only one I'm going to do. If you're in my class, I'm going to have you guys do that assignment. Take care.